Your documents hold the keys to smarter decision-making and incredible customer experiences, but only if you can extract and use their valuable data. And extracting is often a slow, manual, and complex process. Imagine if you could transform all of that unstructured document chaos into neatly structured tables within a data warehouse, ready to fuel your company's data pipelines. In this video, we'll explore how Document AI integrates with BigQuery. You'll learn to extract insights, streamline analysis, and turn your documents into structured data, all within BigQuery. Before jumping into a demo, let's briefly take a look at how BigQuery enables you to analyze all types of data. BigQuery is Google Cloud's data warehouse. Not only does it handle your structured data, but it also works seamlessly with unstructured data, like invoices, forms, contracts, and other documents. BigQuery accesses these assets using object tables, which provide a structured interface to your unstructured data in Google Cloud Storage. Extracting meaning from all of your documents is where Document AI shines. Document AI takes unstructured data from your documents and transforms it into structured data, making it easier to understand, analyze, and consume. BigQuery Machine Learning acts as a bridge between BigQuery and Document AI. It lets you call upon Document AI's powerful capabilities directly within BigQuery and using familiar SQL syntax. You simply invoke the ml.processDocument function over an object table, which points to your documents in Google Cloud Storage. The results are then returned directly to BigQuery Storage, ready for you to analyze and combine with your other business-critical data. This integration with Document AI eliminates the need for custom coding to bring insights into your data warehouse. Your documents can now flow effortlessly into your data warehouse securely at scale and using the SQL skills that your team already has. Okay, so let's head to the console and begin parsing documents. Imagine I work for an online e-commerce company and we include an invoice in each of our orders. These invoices contain useful information like customer names, items ordered, total price, and more. As you can see, these are PDF documents in cloud storage, but it'd be nice to have this data in our warehouse. So let's walk through how it's done. I'm going to first navigate to Document AI within the console. I'll select the Processor Gallery, and I see a wide array of general and specialized processors to use depending on the input document type. Since I'm using invoices in this example, I'll select the Invoice Parser from the gallery, which extracts predefined entities from invoices. I'll then input a simple name and click Create. I'm then presented with some basic information about my processor. I can also find the available versions in another tab, and I'll need this info later on for BigQuery, so I'll keep this page in mind. Next, I'll navigate over to BigQuery. I first need to create a cloud resource connection. This allows BigQuery to access the PDFs in cloud storage and invoke jobs in Document AI. To do so, I'll add connection to external source, I'll set the connection type as a Vertex AI remote model, and I'll give it the name doc underscore con. I'll then just click Create Connection. I can then navigate to the Cloud Resource Connection and copy the service account ID. I'll need to give the service account a few permissions, so next I'll open up IAM in another tab. I'll assign two roles to the service account storage object viewer, and document AI viewer. Then I'll move back to BigQuery. With permissions all taken care of, I'll now create a model within BigQuery. I've already filled in each of the required variables, but I'll highlight each one here. I first enter a project ID, dataset, and model name. Then I input the cloud resource connection. And lastly, I'll input the document AI processor location, ID, and version. I get those from the Document AI page. This model setup is one time for this processor, and I can continue using it in my project hereafter. The last setup step is to create an object table, and this provides a structured interface to objects in cloud storage. In this case, the object table will display metadata around the PDF documents. The object table takes a couple of inputs, namely 
the cloud resource connection I created earlier, and the Google Cloud Storage URIs where the documents reside. Note that the object table only stores metadata and that objects are not moved from cloud storage to another location. With everything set up, I can now use the ml.processDocument function. The function takes two inputs. The first is a remote model I already defined, which points to my document AI processor. The second is an object table that references our documents in cloud storage. Then I'll run the query. Behind the scenes, BigQuery is asking document AI to parse the PDF objects and to return data in a structured format. Upon the query finishing, I can now query the table that contains data from my documents. Here I see a number of useful fields. For example, the name of my customers, the products they bought, the quantity and total value of those products, and they're all here in BigQuery for me to use. And now I can use this data for analytics purposes. I might join it to another table in BigQuery to augment my existing data posture, or I could even just run a simple aggregation to find the top selling items. Let's give that a shot and see what happens. It's clear that the weekend crewneck sweater is our top seller, followed by the high waist flare leg denim and the vintage sole graphic tee. This would have taken a long time manually to look through each PDF but now we can use BigQuery for the heavy lifting. Analyzing complex documents shouldn't require deep AI experience, and a BigQuery's integration with Document AI lets you unlock document data with the power of SQL, streamlining analysis like never before. Once you've extracted your documents, you can perform a variety of additional analytics. Examples might include joining document metadata with other structured BigQuery tables, or using BigQuery's ml.generateText function to summarize your documents, and maybe even using BigQuery's ml.generateEmbeddings function to generate embeddings on this data for vector search and retrieval augmented generation use cases. Give it a try. Check out the description below for a step-by-step -step guide and resources to get started.